Uh, Cork beat West Mead 221 to 21 points. Uh, Shane Kingston at 1-7. Five of those were frees. Shane Barrett won two. Conor Cahalan three. Killian Doyle scored 13 points for West Mead. Ten of those were frees. Um, are you happy enough as a Cork man with how they're motoring this year? <clears throat> I think you'd have to be, yeah. Um, I still probably question marks about kind of certain positions and all that. Uh, you know, Coleman is obviously... Coleman and Fitzgibbon, I think their losses will be kind of kinney felt. It, I'm not exactly sure of the kind of layoff. I think uh, Fitzgibbons is a, so, a shoulder. It's not as serious as Coleman's. Coleman's hasn't been ruled out for the year, but where you kind of fit them in uh, to the team, I mean, there's a lot of talent in the defensive operation, but maybe not a huge amount of experience, you know. Um, so it's probably trying to kind of harness that. Uh, you know, Harnady probably another one to kind of come back into it. But there definitely is a a sense of a lot of the under 21s uh kind of coming through the rain is worth it and i i kind of think this in a wider theme i think this is kind of fascinating the way it's worked out at the moment that the last uh three all ireland under 20 or 21 winning managers whatever you want to describe it actually they won the last five between them uh liam cahill pat ryan and Derek ling have taken over their native counties this year and if you look at their team sheets all of them are putting it their stamp and if we're bringing through these guys you know whether it's billy drennan impressing for kilkenny Garrod O'Connor and Brian O'Mara for tip at the weekend, or you know some of the guys like Shane Barrett, Paddy Power, Brian Hayes, for example, scoring a good bit at the weekend. These are all the guys Pat Ryan has worked with, and it's not like they've done, you know, that they've completely got rid of the the senior players or anything like that. It's just the kind of natural that they've started to kind of bring these guys through. Um, obviously, Links is only last year, so maybe it might take a little bit more time for some of those to develop. Maybe Drennan has kind of hit the ground running, you know. But yeah, I mean, like there's he's looking at a lot, a lot of players, you know. Um, Yes, 29 or 30 was, players have played and have started in the three league games. Yeah, I suppose yesterday's team was a little bit maybe more changed up. You know, there was eight changes, and maybe this was a game that he probably looked at to maybe kind of move move things around a little bit. Uh, I suppose in a wider sense, like Kieran Joyce being at six is the interesting one. You know, he would have been kind of wing back at times last year. Coleman was kind of more the deep line. One that he obviously feels that now we, look been kind of apparent in Cork for a long time a lot of people have been talking to him since he was like 15 16 that this guy was going to be a center back and it was just at what stage you actually just give him that responsibility and kind of entrust it you know because there's this thing is he kind of too young but look I think he's definitely with a season's experience under his belt um then I suppose Owen Downey has been one that's kind of impressed as a guy's fullback you know Ethan Toomey was a guy he made his league debut yesterday I was really impressed with him in club championship last year I understand it's definitely a step down but in terms of what he's doing in Cork and the day against Ballier they played them in the Munster semi-final you know so they're they're looking kind of at a huge uh a huge amount of players uh I think I'd say he doesn't know the answer to this I think for Ryan the question is trying to mix them all together you know but he seems to kind of a really good kind of an attitude when you kind of hear him talk after games and all that and uh I will be interested to see does he go for the league now does he keep going at it because I think they probably have the room to do it I would all I would feel three weeks is probably like if they went for it now, for example, if they played the league final on the ninth, regardless of the outcome, you have kind of three or four days to kind of digest that. Then you have the opportunity to about do about ten to eleven days of hard training, and then get ready for uh, your first game down on the thirtieth of April. A luxury yeah. that probably doesn't exist for the other uh, the other Munster teams to the same extent. Yeah, like I mean, it's a luxury at this stage, but when it gets into the Munster Championship, they've probably wished that they had that extra week break in the middle of it, in terms of like if there are injuries and, and so on. And the, the, the solution to this, I think, is just the league semi-finals. Just get rid of them, you know. I oh. don't know. I don't know anyone who really wants to hurl in league semi-finals. And like, if you played <clears throat> even a wider GA sense, if you played both league finals on the same weekend, the first, second of April, like it's kind of strange. Like there's some massive football games on the 9th of April, the same day as or the same weekend as the hurling league final. You know, Mayo Roscommon like Cork Clare, for example, in, in Munster, a few games in Leinster, like games that are real consequence in terms of the shape of the new football championship. I, I think promotionally, it's kind of going to be strange thinking of a hurling league final. Maybe they'll play it the Saturday night and then you have the football championship starting on the Sunday. And it just, I mean, football have, have finally kind of seen the light and got rid of the league semi-finals. It just, uh, I don't know. I just don't think there's a need for it when we have the own Robin now. We have enough kind of high-quality hurling games coming. Yeah. Uh, Adrian McGrath has a good question for you here. Could Finton confidently select 12 of Cork's starting team for the championship after three matches of the league. I think that'd be a tough one. Like, will really Alan tough. Connolly be back? How quickly will Dara Fitzgibbon, Robbie O'Flynn be back? Yeah, you see, sorry, Robbie O'Flynn actually is the other one. Yeah, he actually think will be a huge, huge loss. I mean, I think Can he, or no, uh, O'Flynn, I think his O'Flynn, form yeah. last year was really, really good. And I thought the way he was showing in that first game against Limerick and the way they were playing him as a corner forward, mm. but kind of with license to start his runs from deeper. 
and he just possesses pace at a level that it's just a commodity that's very, very difficult for teams to stop, you know, when he yeah. kind of gets going, you know, and he's really, really kind of strong, really well built. Um, I think Connolly's going to miss all of the league. I think O'Flynn is as well. Like you talked about, <clears throat> we suppose we talked about the tip players earlier. I would say that quartet of uh, Coleman, if it's given uh, Connolly and O'Flynn, whether they'd all start, but Connolly starts, I'm not totally sure anyway, but um, it's going to be kind of difficult for them. And maybe the extra week will help Cork there, you know, the fact that they're not out of the championship till the, the 30th of April. But I, I think it's quite difficult to to suggest at this stage. Rob Downey's another one that has been injured um, over the last while. But they brought through so many of those guys that won the under 20 and under 21. Um, like the Downey Joyce thing, I suppose, is just kind of interesting as the 3 6. Uh, the younger Downey, Owen Downey, and whether that's the kind of look going forward. But like Daryl Leary played wing back, for example, the other night. He played full back. Do you remember, was it the league semi final last year against Kenny? Bit of a he also played there league, against Limerick in the league before that. Yeah. So is he going to come back? Like he would have played wing back for the under 21s. Um, whether fullback is one that they're going to look at, you know, I, I, I think they're they have a lot to kind of figure out that way. Maybe, obviously, look, they, they know a lot more than us, and they're looking at various forms. But it would seem to me that there's a big kind of a dilemma there now, trying to figure a lot of that out. Yeah, 